This course is suitable for recent undergraduates wishing to seek a career in health analytics, graduates of health related degrees, maths and statistics degrees, and obviously of computer science and IT degrees. It's also suitable for health researchers or practitioners that are basically looking to enhance their quantitative skills, even change um, their professional direction. And it's also very suitable for data scientists who are wanting to enter and specialise that very innovative and growing health domain. The Master of Health Data Analytics takes a core program structure similar to the Master of Data Science and the Master of Business Analytics, but we're adding that health focus, that important necessary health focus. The core program structure is similar to the Master of Biostatistics and Andrew can expand on that if necessary, um, but with greater data science and analytics focus. And there's more quantitative elements to it than the Master of Public Health. The topics that will be covered in the health area, we're looking at health systems, health data sources, things like um, medical, medical benefits scheme, different registries, human body systems, epidemiological principles, linked health data, a growing area. In the area of analytics, topics will include mathematics, programming in R and Python. If you go and have a look at SEEK and you look at some of the programming skills that they're asking for, you will start to see the emergence of R and Python in the data science area. Biostatistical theory and modeling, really important to understand that biostatistical theory, data wrangling, visualization, how we communicate, visualization, and machine learning. So, so there's elective choices in various areas of sort of called advanced statistics or advanced biostatistics. Um, I won't go in describing the individual ones, but there's also elective choices in the machine learning area, and that includes uh, areas like natural language processing, which is um, analysis of text based data rather than analysis of numbers and deep learning, which can be used in say image processing, M machine learning algorithms for reading x rays, for example. So there's a whole area in uh, machine learning that's possible. And then some communication skills if you wish to um, really specialize in um, developing visual displays for large data sets. You are going to leave this course with advanced expertise in health and data systems and programming, machine learning algorithms, biostatistics, data wrangling and epidemiology. You will gain expertise and competence in key aspects of health data analytics, including professional practice. And you are able to specialise in biostatistics or machine learning, or you might just want to do a general stream in the health data analytics 